so uh, hello everyone who has joined this uh, session on an academy thank you so much for getting on to an academy and i am very glad that i finally got to do this video so earlier when we tried to go live there were some issues with this video but anyways here now the video is here and we are finally here uh, in conversation with uh, rohit sharma who is a law graduate from one of the most prestigious law colleges in our country and has like many students today aspire to be uh, ended up becoming a corporate lawyer so he is here to share with us a lot of things about how his career happened what were the things that he did right what were the lessons he learned on the way and also he is going to tell us what does the uh, day in the life of a corporate lawyer look like what are the things that you need to do what are the skills that you need to have in order to become a good corporate lawyer as many of you aspire to be so thank you so much first of all for tuning into this session and if you haven't yet subscribed to the an academy channel go ahead do it right away uh, leave a comment down below let us know how you like our videos what are the things that you want us to do and who are the other guests that you want on the show Uh, so first of all thank you rohit for doing this uh, and being with us here today and taking your time out uh, it is great to have you here especially as a teacher it uh, it's great to have these conversations with uh, people who have uh, gone through the process that our students go through and they are able to relate to you much better and they are able to also understand as to how really things work and get some expert insights from somebody who's been there and done that so thank you so much for agreeing to do this first of all thank you so much kushal for inviting me to this and uh, i completely understand uh, when i was in class uh, 12th preparing for clat i had similar kind of question so i'll be really happy to um, uh, answer any of the question which these students might have thank you so much to chaliye shuruaat se shuruaat karte hain ab sabse pehla sawal ke aapne kab decide kiya ki uh, law karna hai and how did you end up at nujs uh how much work was put to, put into it or was it something that was relatively easy to you so pehle to wo decision se shuruaat shuruaat karte hain ki kahan se aapko laga ki ab lawyer banna chahiye mujhe ya is cheez mein interest hai to iska kafi funny si story hai uh, class 10th tak uh, mera maths aur science sabse acha tha to i started preparing for iit initially mm -hmm. and i was enrolled in one of the top uh, institute of iit also mm -hmm. fir uske baad uh, i realized ki uh, मेरे को इतना मजा नहीं आ रहा है लाइक आई डेंट एंजॉय रीडिंग फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड देन आई वेंट टू अ कैरियर सेमिनार जो ग्वालियर टाइम इंस्टीट्यूट करवा रहा था तो आई वेंट देयर बिकॉज अ फ्रेंड फोर्स मी टू फोर्स मी टू कम कि भाई चल प्लीज मतलब मैं बोर हो जाऊंगा और है ना मैं तेरे को पार्टी दूंगा अगर तुम ऐसा चलेगा तो एंड 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 देर एंड आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट दिस एग्जाम वेयर there was relatively less competition than iit that was glad uh, i was i was quite fascinated by the idea because that was the first time i got to know about national universities to socha us time pe but fir mere ko laga ki nahi nahi glad law wo kyo karna hai agar bilkul interest nahi tha i was i was someone who always used to like engage in debates and uh, public speaking a lot but like i never thought of doing law as such because we we were not especially when you are part of tier 2 tier 3 c city it's slightly unlikely that you will uh, do anything other than engineering and medical right so isliye us time pe nahi socha fir baad mein when i was preparing for uh, uh, iit then this kind of hit me ki that i was very good with analytical and logical reasoning and not and that was the reason i kind of enjoyed the entrance process of these iit coaching ki unka right. entrance mein sleep break kiya tha kyunki usme analytical logical questions aa rahe the maths ke question aa rahe the gk bhi basics puchte hain generally so mere ko laga ki shayad main Uh, मेरा टेंजेंट बहुत डिफरेंट था देन आई ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ आई आई टी कोचिंग आई ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ पी सी एम आई टुक कॉमर्स प्लस मैथ्स एंड देन कॉमर्स प्लस मैथ्स लेने का सिर्फ एक ही कारण था कि uh, सिर्फ लॉ क्लैट पे फोकस कर सकूँ तो इसलिए जो लोग क्लास इलेवेंथ में मैं सिर्फ एक ही एडवाइस दूंगा उन लोगों को साथ में एक इनपुट्स भी कि क्लैट uh, अगर तुम इलेवंथ तुम्हें से तैयारी शुरू करो तो इस तरीके से प्रिपरेशन करो कि तुम्हें इलेवंथ में ही क्लैट बिकना है बिकॉज इट हेल्प्स अलॉट स्पेशली वैन यू आर फोकसिंग इन बोर्ड्स नेक्स्ट ईयर and um, if you are ready beforehand so that was my strategy basically to uh, finish uh, all the course in class 11th and focus on boards i won't say that law school is just for law so that has been a such an experience uh, uh, enjoying all the parts of law school right. uh, especially uh, when you are in the curriculum uh, which is ba and llb so you have a lot of exposure in both the areas right so ye law law exam fir aapne likh ke you went into the uh, legal uh, you went to law college and you js uh, quickly just let me know two things about that ki how was that experience how did it enrich you going into new js 
uh, and second uh, did you beforehand know that okay i want to be a corporate lawyer or was it something you figured out midway through college wo matlab college ke beech mein laga ke okay ye bahut badhiya hai ya kya factor tha jisse aapne ye decide kiya ke mujhe uh, corporate lawyer banna hai was it the money was it the kind of work that that was being given what so the opportunities that were available to ye agar aap mujhe bata sake to तो पहले फर्स्ट का मैं एन वाले सवाल का जवाब दूं तो मैं जिस स्कूल्स वगैरह सर था वहाँ पे इतना रिलेटिवली एक्सपोजर नहीं था एंड व्हेन वी वेंट टू एन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर वाज कल्चरल शॉक ऑफ कोर्स व्हेन यू मीट पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल दिस स्टेट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड देन द काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज यू हैव एज अ सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड तो इट इज अ लॉट इट इज अ लॉट टू टेक एट फर्स्ट एंड आई विल से कि थोड़ा सा मेहनत सिर्फ ग्यारह इलेवंथ और ट्वेल्थ में अगर मेहनत कर लोगे तो बहुत ज्यादा अच्छी लाइफ हो जाएगी तुम्हारी बहुत स्मूथ लाइफ रहेगी क्योंकि कॉलेज में फैकल्टी लर्निंग से ज्यादा पीयर लर्निंग बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट रहती है और जितना बेटर क्राउड जितना डाइवर्स क्राउड होता है किसी भी कॉलेज में किसी भी लॉ स्कूल में तो तुम्हारा कभी भी प्रायोरिटी ये नहीं होना चाहिए कि किस कॉलेज की एन आई एफ एम में रैंकिंग अच्छी है किस कॉलेज की रैंकिंग लोग क्या कहते हैं तुम ये देखो किस कॉलेज में ज्यादा डिफरेंट टाइप के लोग आ रहे हैं कितने डायवर्सिटी वाली आ रही है तो वो एक्सपोजर बहुत अलग टाइप का मिलता है वेन यू डोंट नो अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेसिक थिंग्स लाइक फेमिनिज्म और लाइक हाउ हाउ एल जी बी टी क्यू राइट वर्क यू नेवर न्यू अबाउट दिस वेन यू आर इन स्मॉलर सिटी एंड यू आर स्टडिंग देर एंड द काइंड ऑफ एक्सपोजर दैट द डाइवर्स क्राउड ब्रॉट इज जस्ट फिनोमिनल एंड आई जस्ट केम आउट एज अ डिफरेंट पर्सन इन फाइव ईयर्स तो कैनवस क्वेश्चन एनहेंस करने में कैनवस एनहेंस करने में लाइफ व्यू एनहेंस करने में और पूरी तरह से शेप करने में नॉट जस्ट इन योर करिकुलम बट को करिकुलम एंड एज अ पर्सन यू आर यू आर सीइंग दैट दैट एक्सपीरियंस वाज वेरी फिनोमिनल दैट्स ग्रेट एंड दैट इज ट्रूली द पर्पस ऑफ कॉलेज एट ऑल टाइम्स लर्निंग इज जस्ट वन पार्ट ऑफ इट ग्रोइंग इज द अल्टीमेट पर्पज सो येस गाइज सो ऑल दोज आर वॉचिंग आई थिंक दिस अ ग्रेट सजेशन एंड अ टेक अवे फ्रॉम हियर दैट यू नो go after the experience rather than the rankings at the colleges not that you know you stop working just because uh, ki nahi ab chalo koi baat nahi experience wale college mein jayenge not that but uh, it is a complete package and going into a college like this where you have students coming from all across the country really really adds more value than anything that any other college would be able to give you Uh, and from there, what was the or when was that you decided that a corporate lawyer banana hai? Yeah, was it a path that uh, your college enabled you to do? How did you come about that decision first of all? So, and um, you have a very very uh, good corporate culture. Uh, like especially when once you are in third year, then mm-hmm. uh, there's a uh, there's a recruitment committee which kind of uh, put you in a very various internships. and that is something which is kind of unique in one few nlus jahan mm-hmm. pe recruitment committee is very strong and i i uh, or wo recruitment committee tum exposure deti hai tum bahut alag type ke internship kar sako right so uh, i started interning and i i at first i, I won't say that i was very uh, into corporate law like i i generally uh, never enjoyed corporate law uh, till like second and third year but eventually there were some practices uh, within the corporate law firm or corporate law firm ka matlab ye nahi hai ki sirf तो मैं कंपनी लॉ पढ़ना है और कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फॉर्म में भी काफी ज्यादा नए नए एरियाज आ गए फॉर एग्जांपल यू थिंक अबाउट बिटकॉइन और uh, और यू थिंक अबाउट फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी तो काफी सारे प्रैक्टिसेस हैं जो फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी में भी फोकस्ड है फॉर इंस्टेंस आई वाज इंटरेस्ट इन लेबर लॉ आई एम पार्ट ऑफ लेबर लॉ टीम राइट नाउ एम्प्लॉयमेंट वी कॉल इट एम्प्लॉयमेंट टीम तो दैट इज वेरी डिफरेंट देन द कॉर्पोरेट लॉ लाइक वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग जस्ट ऑन कॉर्पोरेट लॉ वी आर एंटायरली डेडिकेटिंग आरसेल्फ टू लेबर लॉज तो लोगों ने एम्बिट बहुत कम बना के रखा है कि कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फॉर्म का एम्बिट सिर्फ कंपनी लॉज या सेबी की रेगुलेशन या कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स के रेगुलेशन से रिस्ट्रिक्टेड है बट कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फॉर्म में भी देर आर लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस डिस्प्यूट फॉर इंस्टेंस कि अगर तुम्हें वकालत करना है और तुम्हें लगता है तुम्हें फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी भी चाहिए साथ में तो आई थिंक डिस्प्यूट टीम ऑफ एनी कॉर्पोरेट कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फॉर्म इज अ गुड ऑप्शन फॉर यू एंड फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी इज डेफिनेटली अग पॉइंट considering how how high fees and I'll be realistic the fees of unfortunately the most of the law schools on a higher side. Right. And not everyone have the equal resources. So right. I think to get some level of financial stability, which law firms uh, really have a lot of exposure and a decent pay for you. Right. So, ये आपने college में internships करके आपको figure out हुआ कि okay, this is something I am good at and I would like to pursue that. Uh, and yeah. uh, how was the process of uh, getting into a law firm? Finally, ending up at a law firm. Did you have to do a lot of internships, or did you just sit for interviews right after your college? कैसे आपने और हाउ डिड यू वर्क ऑन योर सीवी और व्हाट डिड यू डू दैट एनेबल्ड यू टू एंड अप एट अ कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फर्म 
तो इसमें इसमें मेरे को लगता है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द लॉ स्टूडेंट्स डू दिस दिस डू दिस थिंग व्हिच इज नॉट नॉट सजेस्टेड इज दैट दे ट्राई टू डू एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज लाइक मूटिंग भी करना है एडीआर भी करना है पेपर भी पब्लिश करना है सीजी भी बढ़ाना है आई थिंक इवन इफ यू आर गुड एट वेरी एट वन स्पेसिफिक थिंग तो दैट इज यू नीड टू हैव वन सेलिंग पॉइंट इन अ स्टोरी टू गेट थ्रू योर जॉब Like right. I'll be like that is one one thing which I have observed in all of my peer uh, interviews as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I won't I won't say that same level of privilege है बाकी सारे law schools को जितना हम NGS को मिलता था I won't deny that. So comparatively, jobs were slightly easier to get, mm-hmm. especially because we have like a lot of law firms coming in at the end of the fourth year. Right. But if you are part of any non NLE or a uh, or a NLE on at a tier lower tier, then um, I, what I would suggest is that um, you should work on your CV primarily. uh by doing a lot of good corporate internships right. by focusing a lot on cgpa cgpa or internship experience is something which cannot be equated by moots debates or any other co curricular i'll be honest like right. people will say it's important but at the end of the day even tier 1 can hire you despite you not being from an new if your cgpa and internships are phenomenal right. so abhi ke liye agar tum law aspirant ho to utna daro mat abhi sirf uh, focus karo ki tumhe kaha jana hai agar अभी तुम क्लैट की तैयारी कर रहे हो आज से पांच साल पहले तुम्हें पता भी नहीं था क्लैट क्या है तो अभी तुम्हें पांच साल बाद नहीं पता होगा कि कॉर्पोरेट लॉ फॉर्म में होगी कि नहीं तो अभी जस्ट डोंट थिंक द आइडिया दैट यू हैव टू डू दिस एज ऑफ राइट दिस इज समथिंग यू एज लाइक यू डिस्कवर्ड इट ऑन योर वे इट हैज टू बी डिस्कवर्ड एंड नाउ लेट इज कमिंग लाइक यू मेंशन दैट यू नो द द ट्रूथ ऑफ द फैक्ट इज दैट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कम इन टू एनएलयूज uh some of them might have even taken a loan from bank because if you qualify you you come with the expectation that when i leave this college i have to have a certain amount uh, that i have to either pay back or i want to earn because that is the amount that i have spent uh, a huge chunk of people do come come with that requirement it's not even a matter of choice for some people it's a requirement ki i have now spent yeah. this much money in this college and now i need to earn back that money at the earliest yeah. as possible our corporate yeah. law firms uh a good way to do that so um i'll say that um that on an average uh, the top it, top law firms pay as much as a uh, top iitian would get okay. uh, that tier 1 law firms uh, usually pay between 14 to 20 lakhs per annum right um and uh, if you go to tier 2 level that also like they pay more than 8 9 lakhs easily okay. and even the tier even the law firms which are not well known also pay as good as 5 6 lakh and it is not less comparatively which because the kind not. of work in these law firms is very very qualitative like i won't deny that like all these law firms have really good work especially at a, a tier a lower tier as well uh, so it's uh, just a matter of the scale work scale, is scale scalability is one thing so for instance cam siril amarshan mangala where i am working is a full tier full service law firm where we have all the all the practices right. there must be some law firms which don't have a lot of big client deal but at the same time they are working in two areas for instance intellectual property rights but their practice would be as good as siril amarshan or even better in some aspect Right. so uh, don't worry much about the brand it it is the kind of interest you hold and the kind of investment you want to put in any industry is what going to make a difference and there are litigation firms as well which might pay slightly lesser but that is uh, for the people who wants to see litigation as a longer team and i will be again uh, say that uh, litigation is slightly ha- harder nut to crack initially because it requires some amount of financial stability before you Right. think of earning before you before you think of earning it's a longer game and uh, this is not that this is a short game but this this does give you a financial stability that something else might yeah. have and that brings me I to the uh, next question of uh, other areas versus corporate what is the advantage and if someone is preferring to go what 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 are the advantages that this area offers over maybe other areas either in terms of practice or whatever other areas that uh, you can build a career in in law why do you think corporate law or what are the pros that cor- corporate law gives basically so um, first of all as i mentioned financial stability is a big reason mm-hmm. um, that you you get at the initial of a career you are financially stable right second thing is uh, that once you are in a law firm setup it's very easy to switch to in house or consulting jobs as well right um, vice versa is not possible if you are in consulting or if you are in um uh, in house counsel for people who don't know in house counsel basically you are counsel of general companies for example icici a bank or like a, a birla aig whatever insurance so these are in house counsels so uh, you can join in house counsel once you're part of law firm but uh, the same is not possible if you join in house counsel it's slightly difficult for you 
टू स्विच फ्रॉम इन हाउस ऑल कंसल्टेंसी टू लॉ फॉर्म सो यू हैट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी की किसी भी टाइम पे इफ यू नॉट इंटरेस्ट इन लॉ फॉर्म तुम वहां भी जा सकते हो अनादर एडवांटेज फॉर लॉ फॉर्म इज दैट वंस यू कम विद विद बिगर ब्रांड यू गेट टू वर्क विद पीपल यू कांट इवन इमेजिन लाइक आई वर्क विद big one of the biggest mnc of the world and i worked coordinate with the uh, vice president of the south asia chamber so it was like in terms of exposure wise you get to work with the deals you, you just see in news and you are the part you are the face behind that uh, deal so for right. instance zomato zomato ipo for instance everyone know about zomato ipo i have recently uske right. piche ho sakta hai ki uh, kisi cam ke lawyers ho ho sakta hai khaitan ke lawyers ho sam ke lawyers ho so you these are the people who run the show and behind the scenes so the kind of exposure in terms of deal is also which is unparalleled like it is it, it will give you the real market exposure in terms in real sense matlab tum ho jo market chalwane mein help kara rahe sare investors ki right right you you are you get to be a part of the real game like the eventual actual yeah. game ka tum ek hissa ban sakte ho you are able to see it from yeah. very close quarters things that people read about on uh, newspapers or watch in tv that these things are hap- happening there is of course at all points there is a great team of very dedicated uh, lawyers who are making things happen in the corporate world uh, and you get to be a part of that uh, and uh, so now what does a average you know corporate uh, lawyers day look like what is the kind of work now that now that you've mentioned it what is the kind of work that you get to do and like you said the uh, viewpoint in the uh, in the general public or people who don't know much about it is that it's a very specific type of job or you're only specializing in company laws how is it different and what is it that a corporate lawyer does so uh, i'll just tell what my ex- uh, experience has been i i, I can't uh, comment on the other practices so i was part of general corporate team for last one year mm-hmm. and general corporate mein usually what happens is uh, i'll just given hypothetical of word of an idea तो वो डोफोन और आइडिया जब मर्ज हो रहे हैं तो वो डायरेक्टली ऐसा नहीं है कि कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन किया और मर्ज हो गए देयर गोज अ डिटेल्ड बैकग्राउंड रिव्यू ऑफ दीज द बोथ द कंपनीज फाइनेंशियल एंड इट इंक्लूड्स कि इन्होंने कितने इन्होंने कहां-कहां से कौन-कौन से लाइसेंसेस लिए इन लोगों के पास कौन-कौन सी प्रॉपर्टीज थी इन लोगों के बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स में से किसी के अगेंस्ट कंप्लेंट फाइल तो नहीं है देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन्वॉल्व वेयर यू डू बैकग्राउंड चेक दिस बैकग्राउंड चेक टू एसेस द फीजिबिलिटी इज कॉल्ड ड्यू डिलीजेंस तो अगर इसको सामान भाषा में अगर समझाने का ट्राई करें ड्यू डिलीजेंस का मतलब है कि आप चेक कर रहे हो फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन यू इनरोल इनटू अन एकेडमी प्रोग्राम यू चेकड ऑल द अदर क्लाइंट कोचिंग का एंड देन यू रियलाइज कि अन एकेडमी इज मोर फ्लेक्सिबल टू मी लाइक आई कैन अटेंड ऑल द क्लासेस एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दे आर मोर फ्लेक्सिबल टू डू सो दैट रिसर्च यू डिड बिटवीन क्लाइंट कोचिंग इज कॉल्ड ड्यू डिलीजेंस तो वही चीज हम लोग अब uh, अगर कॉर्पोरेट सेटअप में करेंगे तो वो ड्यू डिलीजेंस हम चेक करते हैं कि क्या बोर्ड ऑफ ऑनर आईडी के बीच में जो मर्जर है उसमें सब चीजें चेक लिस्ट सही है कि नहीं उसमें yes. कोई रेड फ्लैक्स जिसको बोलते हैं मतलब कोई इश्यू तो नहीं है mm-hmm. कि फॉर uh, इंस्टेंस कि उन्होंने कुछ पैसा पेमेंट नहीं किया या फिर हजारों करोड़ का लोन था जो पेंडिंग है बताया नहीं है इन्वेस्टर्स को तो दिस बैकग्राउंड चेकअप इज वॉट जनरली मर्जर एंड एक्विजिशन ट्रांजेक्शन लॉयर डू एम एन ए बोलते जिसको मर्जर एंड एक्विजिशन लॉयर तो उसमें ड्यू डिलीजेंस इज वन पार्ट ऑफ इट समाइम यू ऑल्सो टू एडवाइस So what advisory means is uh, that a client comes to you and tell ki mere ko isme merge karna hai to mere liye best way kya hoga mere ko ipo nikalna chahiye ya for instance agar paisa raise karna hai mere ko ipo nikalna chahiye ya mujhe existing shareholders se paisa nikalna hai to ye bhi kind of advice which a company uh, like corporate law firm kind of suggests so there are a lot of function that is but broadly general corporate mein you do a lot of m and a and private equity work private equity right. matlab jo bhi जो इन्वेस्टर रिलेटेड प्राइवेट सेक्टर में व्हेन यू इन सिंपलेस्ट राइट एंड कैन यू टेल टेल अम व्यूअर्स व्हाट आर द फ्यू ऑफ द टॉप मोस्ट लॉ फर्म्स टू वर्क फॉर और द थिंग्स दैट यू शुड मे बी कीप अ लुक आउट फॉर एंड कीप अपडेटेड व्हेन यू डू एंड अप इन कॉलेज कि जैसा आपने बोला कि टायर टू कॉलेज के स्टूडेंट्स या नॉन एनएलयू स्टूडेंट्स के कॉलेज कॉलेजेस के जो स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं वो लोग भी कैन एंड अप गिवन दैट दे play the cards right and they go and get the right internships so what are the few companies that everybody needs to be on the lookout for that might help them uh, you know build a good career in law so my uh, like i'll answer this in two parts first is um, i'll say that sirila marshal mangaldas is one of the best firm like where i am working right. the reason is that they have a very good rotation program so rotation program mein 
तुम्हें तीन डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिस का एक्सपोजर मिलेगा फॉर सिक्स मंथ सो यू गेट टू नो कि तुम्हारा इंटरेस्ट कहाँ पे Right. And the other other law firms include Khaitan is very good law firm. Fair Legal is also emerging, and um, now, as a, as one of the top firm in the country, there's JSA, there's L and L, and uh, there are a lot of Harucha. There are a lot of firms. So that is one part that there are a lot of tier one law firms. But uh, I won't say uh, that if you are part of non NLU or uh, lower NLU, uh, you should worry a lot about the brands initially. I I agree. It's amazing that you get into these places. I I really hope that all of you get through. But at the same time, um, even if you get end up into a decent law firm, which is not as famous as Cam, mm-hmm. then also you have a lot of chance to join Cam at a later point on time. So, for instance, a lot of my partners or senior associate came from a smaller firm, and they kind of switched after two years once they had experience. So, don't worry. Your learning curve is going to be a determining factor in longer run. Shorter run, me, maybe the NJC analysts ke bache tum se ek saal, do saal. का किक स्टार्ट ले बट अगर तुम मेहनती हो तो तुम हमसे आगे निकलोगे तो ये चीज बिल्कुल दिमाग से निकल रहा Uh, your entire uh, post law school life yes i think it matters for that period of when you get your first employment that is definitely uh, much easier yeah. for somebody from uh, national law but after that a, a law is one of the or legal field uh, from whatever little experience of uh, that i had in the field of law it is a field that is absolutely based on merit and merit alone and your merit there is your ability to think and your ability to work there is no other uh, you know uh, there is no other parameter there because nothing else works when you are in front of the court or when you're working and you're getting things done for your client there is there is nobody is checking anything except for the fact that can you get it done or not and as long as you can get it done you will always have an opportunity and you will always have a seat at all of these tables it's just about that uh and uh now in terms of uh, the kind of uh, how did you build up your cv apart from the internships what were the subjects or uh, or rather what are the skills you think somebody needs to make it in the corporate world there are certain basic skills which you might now know that okay to become a, this kind of uh, or to have this kind of career these are the skills that you must have that you must own and work on and this is nothing to do with your marks or scores but they are just skills that you need to develop over a period of time so what are those skills that you think that students Uh, need to develop or can develop even before matlab clad ke time se hi wo develop kar sakte hai which help them become a better lawyer uh, regardless so um isme kafi sare logon ko lagta hai ki hum logon ko bahut sara jhoot wagera batana padega ki hum log interested hai <laughs> but uh, yes. but mere uh, mera case thankfully and the reason why camp was always on my first list was um, f- that uh, they i had brutally honest interview with them i told them about how i was really into social sector uh, before i was interested in corporate law i told them about how i am passionate about uh, social change as well and i i'm i'm still continuing a work on migrant workers with my job right, right now so uh, so i think the skill they want to see is that uh, people are smart like i i won't say that people who have reached till interview are smart yeah that's that's not a that's not going to be a divisional factor that cv me kya that the difference which will make is they try to see the psychology of these people is ki kya ye ek thoda pressure wale environment mein kya can he come out as a winner can he right. sustain himself are they part of this ecosystem can they become a part of this ecosystem is the question which they ask okay. and the answer comes usually in the form of you portraying how you are as a person okay. and it cannot come as a ki main foreign national program mein kya tha ya fir main देखो मैं कितना स्मार्ट हूं मैं सिटी टॉपर था दैट वोंट मैटर माय सेलिंग पॉइंट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वाज ऑल ऑफ माय वर्क इन सोशल सेक्टर एंड मी बीइंग लीडर सो दैट वाज वन सेलिंग पॉइंट आई गिव टू देम दैट इन माय 5 ईयर ऑफ लॉ स्कूल आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंक्रीजिंग डाइवर्सिटी बाय इंक्रीजिंग एक्सेस आईडीआईए व्हिच इज नोन फॉर व्हिच इज नोन फॉर हेल्पिंग डिफरेंटली एबल एंड मार्जिनलाइज्ड कम्युनिटी टू एंटर लॉ स्कूल ओके एंड आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड आई टोल्ड देम अबाउट हाउ um i was part of uh, i was headed west bengal chapter and it was one of the most successful chapter and they were cu- they were curious about uh, how many people i um, organized with and then i told them about it and they were quite ha- quite fascinated that i used to run operation with 100 member team and uh, despite that like the team was one of the best performing team so they kind of 
see the soft skills as well and the soft skill means that you as a lawyer need not just be a robotic person you then want to see ki ye ek environment mein kaise fit in hoga kya ye hamare brand ke liye ek acha portrayal ho sakta hai ki nahi right so, because you are uh, going to be speaking so, to a lot of people you are going to be representing yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of places right exactly exactly so so um, see when they came to an us everyone is on a same pedestal in terms of intellectual capacity and cgpa the selling point becomes this unique skill and this skill for me might be leadership for you it might be that how well you are um, you are managing the deadlines that can be something that that you might be some person jo uh, ek sath do moods kar raha tha aur teen papers likh raha tha uske bawajood bhi usne cgpa pe compromise nahi kiya so right. that can be your selling point every have every person has a different story you can your story can be that uh, you were in first year you were that person who were just to uncomfortable to, to do public speaking and in fourth year you became the best mooter of your college so that is just i'm just giving an example of some of the stories which people often have told us about and um, a great story and a compassion always sells uh, right. that's that's the unfortunate reality of the market but like if you are honest uh, about their sto- your story i highly doubt and problem yahi aata hai ki log bahut cook up karte hain stories interviews mein main bahut honest tha i told them about how i ran a meme page for uh years and they were quite uh, they were quite surprised okay memes wale bacche bhi hain matlab interview mein uh-huh. so everyone was telling everyone was telling singing dancing karte the spare time i told them i i used to make memes and they were why wow what what was the page called and then they were the equity partner of cam asking that what is the page uh, name can you tell me the name i like the page so that right. comes like that is very surprise as a student you don't remember you don't think it, but at the end of the day they are also humans and they want to see something which separates you from the crowd from the crowd herd. they want right. to see a unique person unique personality right and you can you as like you said uh, being in a law college like this will always give you an opportunity to develop and own your personality by being yeah. uh, you know um, exposed to a lot of new things that you didn't think were great and uh, uh, now just one more thing uh, before we wrap up the interview Uh, like you were mentioning when you were talking ke there were a lot of other interests that you had uh, which were not necessarily uh, you know uh, related to you know corporate law in general or being a corporate lawyer so what are these other things that you do and are there other better op- options out there for students who want to you know make a career in law so um so i'll i'll just start with uh, something called adr mm-hmm. alternate dispute resolution so mm-hmm. abhi recently in last 5 to 10 years the market for alternate dispute resolution and mediators so mediator ka concept jin bachcho ko agar aasan bhasha mein samjhaye to jab bachpan mein hum logo ki ladai hoti thi to hum log mummy papa ke paas complain karne jaate the to mummy papa dono parties ki side sunte the aur bol dete the ki dekho tumne galti kari pehle tumne usko kyun mara so that is mediation in a family setup now this has shifted to a business transaction now so um, sometimes biggest split for instance ambani uh, I, I'm uh, not a money, but the biggest split, Ram Mandir issue, for instance, was tried to be uh, settled by mediation first. There are a okay. lot of big disputes which are coming into ADR now. So okay. ADR is a big market ban chuka hai, jahan pe if you are good with negotiating people and if you are someone who see yourself as a problem solver, then that is another uh, area which is coming up. And um, I am I am associated. With, I I used to be associated with a lot of organization in law school also. Currently, there is called organization called Sama. which is one of my friends in startup uh, which kind of runs uh, online lok adalats okay so usme uh, so usme they collaborate with state legal services authority and the online dispute result, uh, settlement ho raha hai so this okay. is also going very great as a success model so adr is one thing and uh, uh, as a mediator you can earn decent amount like depends on your capabilities per case so we ye bhi ek alag market hai you can be in the court litigating at the same time you are also doing your mediator practice so that is one thing right. second is uh, which is which is attracting a lot especially in the law, top law school is uh, public policy and policy think tanks so public policy policy think tank mein agar main tumse ek sawal puchu as a law aspirant ki tumhe kya lagta hai ki jo laws aate hain wo kaun banata hai kya ye wahi log banate hain jo jinki educational qualification 10th pass hai ya 5th pass hai ya not i am not stereotyping but i am just asking so uh, so not that the answer is no generally there are a lot of policy organization which are behind all the policies and policies schemes which are launched made. by uh, government yeah so these are the think tanks so for instance i'll give you an example of vidhi center for legal policy which uh-huh. usually draft most of the bill by government so uh-huh. vidhi 
also pays a very good salary like it can be as much as uh, 60 to 80000 rupees based on a profile or it can be 50000 based on the uh, depending on the profile and the kind of work is amazing and you get to really work in the uh, in the public policy development sector. sector yeah yes right yeah so if you are into if you're interested into social change and developmental sector public policy and think tank um is is a good option and if you want to opt for more like a ground level activist kind of policy there are a lot of organizations for that as well tum jahan pe ground level stakeholders se gaon wale se engage kar rahe ho for example and for that uh, practical activism with public policy i will suggest there is something called fellowships so right. fellowships mein kya hota hai there are a lot of fellowships which are coming on jahan pe lawyers ko priority milti kyunki unko सोशल साइंस और लॉ का दोनों का एक्सपोजर होता है तो दे आर द बेस्ट काइंड ऑफ सोशल इंजीनियर्स विच दे कैन आस्क फॉर तो फॉर इंस्टेंस आई गिव एग्जांपल ऑफ गांधी फेलोशिप जो गुजरात में जहाँ पे तुम रूरल गुजरात में तुम लोग टाइम बिताओगे दो साल एंड यू विल वर्क टू इम्प्रूव द लाइफ ऑफ विलेजेस अनदर थिंग अनदर फेलोशिप अनदर फेलोशिप इज चीफ मिनिस्टर फेलोशिप फॉर हरियाणा वेर यू विल डायरेक्टली वर्क अंडर एन आई ऑफिसर डेप्यूटी कमिश्नर एंड यू विल बी इन चार्ज ऑफ वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट और उस डिस्ट्रिक्ट में शायद हेल्थ का इशू हो सैनिटेशन का इशू हो वेमेन का इशू हो पॉलिसी का कोई भी इशू हो तुम यू विल बी वन ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट तो दैट इज अगेन वेरी ग्राउंड लेवल वर्क विच इज नॉट नेसेसरली वर्किंग थिंक टैंक बट इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ बोथ तुम जो तुमने जो क्लास रूम में पढ़ा है उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करने का टाइम सो फेलोशिप इज अनदर ऑप्शन फिर जुडिशरी एंड यू पी एस सी इज अनदर थिंग Uh, which you can always think and especially UPSC may offer a lot of law schools law students are cracking it more because mm-hmm. of the nature of mains exam in UPSC mains exam mein the kind of answers they expect are the same kind of answers you write in a law school and uh, exam okay. ke uh, jo structuring hum log karte hain ke uh, issues identify karna fir reasoning dena fir analysis dena to wahi wo shayad engineering ke bachcho ko itna better nahi aata hoga jitna law students ko exposure hai so it okay. gets slightly easier For you to answer, but so I think that's there are a lot of option and, options for uh, for the students to go out and yeah. and uh, and I didn't mention mm-hmm. sorry yes please please sorry go ahead. to I, I and I didn't mention um, United Nations for instance a lot of my seniors are working at United Nations ILO so international organization and journalism there are a lot of law law students can do anything that way like they have a good flexibility in social science वाले sector में भी जा सकते हैं and working for UN for imagine working for UN when you were a, You are studying CLAT uh, seven years back in the small town of Bihar. So just imagine the kind of trajectory. And I am giving you a real example in right. my college seniors, who are working in an international organization and who didn't know English in their class. Exactly. So it is very important that you focus on CLAT. All the suggestions that I am giving you, you will be able to reach them when you are here. Absolutely. So now, before we end this session, I would like to leave the students with a few questions. Absolutely. 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 and who aspire to be a lawyer in some capacity or that what would your suggestion for them be so i when i used to teach clat uh, i used to teach clat for 2 3 years uh, mm-hmm. in law school i used to give this advice to everyone ki uh, the problem uh, with our educational setup is that we often try to compare our mock scores with our peers right and i don't think i don't think that's a good strategy to be honest mm-hmm. ki it is it is uh, because every person comes with a different head start like कोई बच्चा ऐसा होगा जिसका इंग्लिश बहुत बेटर होगा कोई बच्चा ऐसा होगा जिसकी लॉजिक अच्छी होगी किसी की मैथ्स किसी की जीके एंड उसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं उनके मार्क्स में शायद हंड्रेड मार्क्स आ रहे हैं और तुम्हारे फोर्टी आ रहे हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है दिक्कत तब होती है जब तुम देखोगे नहीं कि तुम्हारे फोर्टी क्यों आ रहे हैं दिक्कत तब होगी जब तुम्हारे अगले मार्क्स में फिफ्टी की जगह थर्टी एट तो तुम्हारी ट्रेजेक्ट्री देखो करो तुम अपने पिछले मार्क्स से अब एक बेसिकली रियल रियल सक्सेस क्या होती है रियल सक्सेस होती है कि मैंने पहले मॉक में एक क्वेश्चन पढ़ पाया और अगले मॉक में मैंने एक पढ़े वो वो मेरे हिसाब से रियल सक्सेस है मॉक का स्कोर शुरू के टाइम में कोई दिक्कत नहीं फ्लेक्सिबल होने दो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है कि तुम्हारे शुरू के दस मॉक्स अच्छे नहीं जा रहे हैं बट उस टाइम पे तुम्हारा फोकस होना चाहिए कि तुम सीखो कि 150 क्वेश्चन कैसे पढ़ते हैं उसके बाद जब तुम 150 क्वेश्चन पढ़ सको फिर
कंपेयर करने के लिए यार्डस्टिक सेम्स होना चाहिए और यार्डस्टिक सेम करने के लिए तुम्हें मेहनत करना होगा exactly. और आ, अभी से अगर तुम कंपेयर करोगे फर्स्ट रैंकर से तो डिप्रेशन में ही जाओगे और ये प्रोसेस अनफॉर्चुनेटली ऐसा है कि आ, हर कोई तुम्हें नेगेटिव बनाने का ट्राई करेगा तुम्हारा फ्रेंड बोलेगा देख भाई दस सोर्स से जी के पढ़ ये भी पढ़ ये भी पढ़ ये भी पढ़ नहीं करना उसको दो या तीन सोर्स पकड़ लो मैक्सिमम जीके के लिए बाकी सब्जेक्ट में भी एक या दो सोर्स मैक्स टू मैक्स जो बंदा डेडिकेटेड क्लैट है वो यूपीएससी से बहुत रिलेटिवली इजियर है अगर तुम उन एक या दो सोर्सेस को पकड़ के चलोगे तो बहुत आसान हो जाएगा प्रोसेस और खुद को कम्पिटिटर मान के चलोगे कि मेरे को अपने पिछले मॉक से बेटर करना है पिछले मॉक में मैंने एट्टी परसेंट एक्यूरेसी दी इसमें मुझे एट्टी टू करना है तो तुम्हारा रियल चेंज आएगा और वही लोग लंबे रेस के घोड़े होते हैं जो अपने पिछले परफॉर्मेंस से बेटर करते रहते हैं हर मौके के साथ साथ राइट सो थैंक यू सो मच रोहित फॉर डूइंग दिस वर्क विद अस एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग एंड गिविंग सच ऑनेस्ट एंड टू द पॉइंट एडवाइस व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प ऑल ऑफ दी स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी हु ट्यून्ड इन फॉर दिस सेशन और भी कोई अगर आपके क्वेश्चंस हैं जो आप चाहते हैं कि हम रोहित से पूछे तो उन्हें कमेंट्स में जरूर छोड़ दीजिएगा एंड लेट अस नो व्हाट आर द अदर थिंग्स दैट यू वांट अस टू क्रिएट वीडियोस अबाउट एंड व्हाइल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक गिवन डाउन बिलो ऐप डाउनलोड करो वहां पे फ्री क्लासेस है हर टीचर फ्री क्लास ले रहा है फ्री टेस्ट्स है जो आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हो एंड दिस एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द स्पेशल क्लासेस मच बेटर क्यों क्योंकि वहां पे आप डाउट पूछ सकते हो लाइव फैकल्टी से आप फैकल्टी के साथ बात कर सकते हो डायरेक्टली uh, आप वहां पे पोल क्विजेस में एंटर कर सकते हो तो द होल फीचर्स ऑफ दैट क्लासरूम एनवायरमेंट इज वेरी इमर्सिव सो डू चेक दैट आउट लिंक नीचे दिया गया है यू कैन यूज माय कोड एज वेल ऑल दी अदर कोड्स आर आल्सो गिवन डाउन बिलो एंड ऑन दैट नोट थैंक यू रोहित फॉर जॉइनिंग विद अस टुडे एंड विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट इन योर करियर इन लॉ थैंक यू कुशल एंड थैंक यू एकेडमी टीम एंड ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल द क्लैट एस्पिरेंट्स बाय थैंक यू सो मच